Hello and welcome to the Critic Curious. Today we are in Warband, Mountain Blade Warband, uh, and we are doing a let's play, uh, kind of how to start the game. Um, hopefully this turns into a full-fledged let's play if you are interested in a let's play um, by me on Warband. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see more, um, and I'll happily do more episodes. Um, recently I've already done a, you know, kind of like a character build how to build your character i'm just going to go for straight male and we're going to hit all of the top right here uh, easiest one to go for and just like in that video we are going to pick the nice little purple unicorn so let's pick my name and as i'm the monk we're going to go for the monk um and I think we're going to go for a bit of strength in this one. Like I said, I don't know if you guys are going to want to continue this playthrough. Just in case you don't, I'm going to take the easy option and put some more points into strength. And as you can see, my health is going up, which is quite cool. Uh, and it's up even higher if we put on a little bit of an iron flesh. I'm going to go for trainer just because I would like my recruits to uh, level up a little bit quicker. And we're also going to go for first aid. There we go. Let's do first aid, surgery, and wound treatment. And at the beginning of the game, you get a one-handed weapon. Uh, so until we get some money, that's what we're pretty much going to be using. And we're going to go for a randomized. And as I suggested in that starter character build video, uh, I'm going to start in Swandia. Um, here, in my opinion, are the best troops. Uh, they are the best kind of cavalry uh, the game has to offer. Um, but it does take quite a bit to actually get them that way. They're also extremely expensive. Yeah, let's take care of that guy. There we go. There should be a merchant that kind of runs at us now as well. And he will give you kind of your, your first mission in the game. Now, there isn't much of a mission or a storyline um, in this game at all, guys. Um, he gives you the first mission to collect five guys. Uh, you know, basically start building your army. Um, as you can see, you're here. You're, you know, a little bit vulnerable. You're just on your jack. You're on your, on your your, your horse. Um, but we are in Swandia. As you can see, this is the map. Eventually, hopefully, we can take it over. If I do continue this playthrough, I will be doing my own kingdom. I'm not going to join anybody, um, which is a little bit harder. And hopefully, we can take over this entire map. That's the plan, anyway. Uh, bottom line, this little area here, they have the best cavalry in the game, the Swandian Knights. This little area right here have the best archers in the game. Uh, they have amazing sharpshooters. So if it gets to a stage where you've got castles and you want to defend your castles, these are the troops that you're going to be wanting to, uh, to recruit. But if you are attacking castles, well, it's the Nords over here these kind of these guys right here they have huskules i believe that's what they're called um and they are just unbelievably good at sieging castles the nords have no uh, horseback units unfortunately um but those guys those guys are literally walking tanks so you know keep an eye out for them Anyway, so we're going to go here and we're going to get ourselves uh, a few recruits at the beginning. And let's recruit some troops. We actually got five, which is pretty cool. Now, remember, we did actually put a point into training, uh, meaning that as we kind of go along our journey, we are going to be training these guys up, which is pretty cool. Uh, what we're also looking for is bandits. Now, there's only six of us. Um, if we kind of have a little look-see around, you will find bandits to get into a little bit of a scrap with. Win it, you'll get XP, you level up. The Once you actually get some half-decent troops, um, you know, get a decent number, and they're kind of leveled a little bit, the best place to kind of farm, and it is a farm in the end, 
is actually the Nord area. They have um, Sea Raiders, and those guys are absolute beasts. They're tough. If I was to go at them with, say, 20, 30 of these basic recruits, I'd probably die. Those guys, like I said, absolute beasts. You don't want to take them on unless you've got some decent armor or a couple of good um, troops. But once you do have that, they are a great place to go milk some XP and, of course, loot as well. Because when you, when you win a battle, you're going to get some decent loot from that. There we go. What are we up to now? So look at our little party. We're up to 15 Swandium recruits. Let's see if we can get out to 20. Oh, there we go. We're up to 21 right now. Uh, so we're going to go over to Praven, which is the, the capital uh, of this country and ha have a little look see to see if we can find any bandits also it's a good idea to keep in mind you do actually have to feed your troops um so you know it's a good idea to keep an eye on what you've actually got i will have fish on me so that would be good for a couple of days but if i was to travel up the country that would very quickly run out Uh, oh, there is a feast we can join. It's a good place to kind of meet lords. Um, I'm going to check the tavern out, though, because what I'm looking for is a companion. Or at least our first companion. There's nothing here. There's some, there's some uh, mercenaries, but we don't really want to mess with them just yet. Haven't got the money is what we don't got. Do have our fish, though. We do need to get into a fight, actually. The sooner we get into the fight, the better that we're actually get some cash and be able to do some bits. Oh, who are these? Forest bandits. There we go. We've got our first battle. Uh, we do outnumber them, but they're going to have probably some better gear, to be fair. Look, we're just running around with peasants, after all. What I actually like to do at the beginning, when we are, you know, we're just us. We've got basic gear, a basic horse, which will probably die pretty quickly. Uh, I'm going to try and kite some of these guys... Um, away from my troops and that way my troops can kind of attack a couple hopefully there we go they're all missing their mark and we've got about five or six of them just attacking me which means that my guys can engage uh, the few that have decided to march ahead good idea to watch your horse health though uh, if that goes or dies Although you're going to get a new one on your next battle, you're going to be running around this field uh, on your toes, which, you know, it's not going to be fun for anyone. The more of these battles, the better, though, uh, because these guys are going to be earning XP. <laughs> They're just lobbing rocks at the moment. You might notice the text on the uh, bottom left-hand side of the screen. Any green text is basically letting you know that uh, that you have either killed somebody or or knocked one of them unconscious. If it's red, it means they've killed you. Uh, and if it's yellow, that means that one of your guys have been knocked unconscious. They will recover. It would take them a little minute to recover, or, you know, a day or two. Um, but they'd be all right. You can see that we actually went up in proficiency on our one-handed weapon um, because we killed someone with one. I'm not really too interested in one-handed weapons. I prefer the two-handed weapons when it comes to uh, combat in this game. We're all cushioned. As you can see, although a few of our people did die, maybe a few too many, uh, we did actually get some upgrades, which is pretty cool.
and we got a lot of gear too. And all of this gear, it can either be put on us because we've got jank, uh, or it can be sold. So if we go to inventory, we can have a little look-see. Uh, we got 27 body armor there. It's going to be better than ours. So we're going to pop that on. We've also got ourselves a hat and a two-handed axe. Now, we don't actually have an axe, so that will work for us. I personally like crossbows for when I'm attacking uh, castles. At the moment, we're not going to be doing no attacking of castles, so I don't really need it. And I think that's all the stuff we got. Let's see, we got uh, 10 to head armor, 18 to head armor. So yeah, that's a lot better. And so we're all good. Everything else we've got, we can just sell. We don't really need it. Uh, and the nearest town, we could go here. And of course, now if we look at our party, uh, we have got... Our Swandia Milita, which is a little bit better. They've got a little bit better gear. Um, and we need to go ahead and recruit some more basic recruits as well once we uh, get a little bit of cash. There we go, we've got 200 quid from that. That's not too bad. How much fish have we got? We definitely don't want to be running out of food. These bandits, 15 looters. Oh, who's going to get him first? Move in and help. So you can choose to help the random lords about. Um, the good news is if you help, you know, a decent lord, a good natured lord, uh, he'll end up, you know, liking you. He'll be appreciative of you coming in to help him. Um, I would strongly recommend doing this sort of thing early on. You want the most positive relationships you possibly can get, uh, especially if you're looking to have your own kingdom. Because you want a lot of lords, you want a lot of vessels, and the only way you're going to do that is if you know a good amount of them actually like you to begin with. And that's why I would recommend if you ever do go to war uh, or you know have a fight early on in a game with a lord, they give you the option to have them as a prisoner. Personally, I would always let them go. Um, if, however, the Lord you've let go tells you that he doesn't like that, tells you that that's an insult, then you know that that Lord is someone that you can ransom for as much money as you can get. There we go. All done and dusted. Uh, we got a, tatty, a tattered hat hat and that's it unfortunately from that battle but of course your troops that did get a little bit from that too so worth keeping note of oh who's that did i see them there they are we've got some deserters now deserters are a little bit tougher than looters or bandits because you know they're they're actually ex-military So we might have to put in a good stint here. Also, fair warning, if you mess about, if you pick on someone, you probably shouldn't have. You could find you're going to spend much of your early game as a prisoner. It's a very real option. So don't be afraid of retreat. Um, and don't be afraid to pick your battles a bit wisely. Like I said, I like to distract the enemy um, as much as possible, especially at the beginning of the game. Maybe try and pick off one or two. I can't take many hits with the armor I've got. 
as you can see my horse is half dead i just ran into them and they just slaughtered my horse unfortunately but if you look we have got the group split up our troops are able to engage and uh hopefully a bit of luck we actually managed to do some damage Oh, horse is almost dead. We are going to run away. Like I said, I definitely don't want to be uh, just walking about at the moment. All of my troops to charge. They're almost dead though. Look, there's only a couple left. If we were doing this with basic recruits up against the deserters, we'd probably have lost that. Oh, there we go. Look, we've got some better gear there. What have we got? Yeah, it is slightly better. 12 on the old shoes. Ah, we've got better feet already. But we've got some more gear that we can sell, which is good for us. This is why we're doing it. Get some gear, get some gear. We got 10 to upgrade, which is phenomenal. So when it comes to Swandian troops, if you see I've got an option to make footmen or skirmishers. Well, I'll make a skirmisher just so you can see what it is. Um, but that would be your, your archery. There'd be your archers, your castle defenders. Eventually, you can get sharpshooters. Um, but what we want is footmen because after that... Uh, you start getting the really good troops. And as you can see, we've got the recruit, which goes up into the militia. Militia then go into skirmisher or footman. And like I said, it's from there we get the men of arms and then eventually the knights. Now, if we go for Swandian infantry, that will be ground units. But if we go for men of arms, we get our mounts. We start getting some really decent troops, which is what we want. And again, the more of these little little battles, the better. All of it is, you know, some nice XP for yourself, for your troops. As you see, our troops are looking a little bit better, a little bit more like um, a real army. good place to actually start practicing and getting some XP is entering tournaments. If you find a tournament um, in one of the major cities uh, in the game, that's a good place to get some kind of battle experience with certain weapons. You'll find that your proficiencies will start going up. You see we just got two-handed proficiency there. And we've got some more goodies as well, which is nice. Let's look. Oh, I think we're going the wrong place. Look at the infantry. That's better. We're going to put on our, our helmet. And that's 12. Did I say this was already better? It is already better. And we're going to go to Praven because we're going to need to buy some more food. And I'd like to recruit like six more people as well. Got some good cavalry units there. Two recruit mercenary units, but they're going to cost far too much for us. Little mission of hunt the bandits, because we did get that five that he that he asked us to get. We're going to go to goods again. They've got 500 dinars here for us to grab. Another haul of 200 after we get ourselves some grain. We're looking at 164. Not bad, not bad. Uh, you can obviously buy some arms. I wouldn't recommend it just yet. We don't really have the, the spare cash. Plus, with the cash we do have, we may have to or may get an opportunity to buy a companion. Um, I would prefer to put money in a companion than I would an actual weapon. 
because those guys don't die. Uh, let's go. Let's visit one more thief. Uh, try and do another recruit. There we go. We're up to 21 troops again. And of course, now we're looking for some more bandits. Like I said, once we get, um, say, 20 decent troops, then we can go up, have a look at the Sea Raiders, uh, start attacking them with a bit of confidence. We can attack uh, these towns, these fiefs. At the moment, with the way we are, I wouldn't recommend it. Wherever you attack, they're not going to be favorable. They're not going to enjoy the fact that you're attacking them. Um, you know, they're really not going to like it. That's going to affect you down the game. So make sure whoever you do decide to attack, because attacking little towns is definitely worth it. You can get some, def you know, some real good stuff from it. But just remember that. You know, you're not going to be able to recruit troops from that place because of what you're doing. So we found a bandit camp. We could attack it, destroy it, or try and farm the bandits around it, which is what I'm going to try and do. Okay, so we're 18 versus 21. Points are on our favor. We have got some decent troops, like I said, so I think we'll do this pretty easy. But we don't want too many losses. So if I can, I'm going to try and kite some of these guys off again. If we had pole arms, we could just run straight into them, maybe kill one. We don't have pole arms. So therefore, we can't do a successful charge. So we're a bit slow with our uh, two-handed axe because very low weapon proficiency with it. But the more you use it, you will find it will go up very, very quickly. And then you'll be you know, a lot faster, a lot more accurate with your weapon. Oh, we escaped the battlefield. Little gear. Oh, we got our first um, f man of arms, which is pretty cool. Some more gear. We needed more gear. What was our boots again? Our boots was 13. We need something a bit better. We got 14. Um, and we can check our swing as 26. So our... Axe is actually better. Go to inventory and put on the better boots. And we also got an all important level up. So we go to a character. And I think I'm going to put two points into intelligence. Our intelligence is far too low. A good thing to note is that charisma. Controls your persuasion, also controls your basic army size. Um, I wouldn't put too many points here because when it comes to army size, most of your army size comes from your renown, which is, you know, winning your battles. But I wanted a point, an extra point, into trainer. And I'll put as many points as I can into trainer.
And there we go, we're up to 55 health, which I think is as much as a Swandian Knight. Obviously, we don't have the armor of them. More footmen. And there we go. Look at that. We have got our first man of arms. And then that will go up into Swans Unite. Be careful, however, as you can see, it says 120 D next to it. That's 120 dinars per week. They're very costly. And, you know, if you don't have the money to pay them, they're not going to want to stay around. Um, at the beginning of the game, I would recommend sticking with the footman. However, I do quite like getting a few of the man of arms. You can also, because these guys are going to be rushing off into battle, meaning potentially they're going to die before the other troops. So they do class as, um, as you can see, as the cavalry troops at the beginning of the game or the beginning of your battles, you can ask the cavalry to kind of stick with you while the other troops go into battle. As you can see, we get three Renown uh, for winning this battle. That Renown is a good idea to pay attention to. The more the odds are against you, the more Renown you're going to get per battle. And as I said, you're going to want as much Renown as you can possibly get. Um, because that's going to increase your, your army size. And you want as big an army as you can possibly have. Especially when you've got some kings running around with like 300 troops sometimes. That can really suck. think it's pretty much done we've got some people running away there we go all done and dusted we've got some levels again which is nice more footmen we could have more man of arms i'm not going to it costs 40 dinars a week per one we've got i've got two i'll keep them as my personal bodyguards and then we've got more gear that we can sell now too so if i was to continue playing this what i would probably do is recruit a few more troops get it to around 20 decent troops like i said we currently do have 20 but not all of them are always going to survive and then once I finally got those 20 decent troops, as in mountain, man of arms, and you've got a little bit more better armor, we are getting little bits here and there, better armor. You will get a hell of a lot more once we start attacking those seed raiders. But then, like I said, I would start attacking those sea raiders. Had another little look for another companion, but no companion here. You can also save all that gear we're getting. So if you ever get anything half decent duped wise, you can give that, save that and give that to your companions as well. And there we go, guys. I'm going to end this episode here. There is a lot more to do. I would also start saving up money because you can actually walk around these towns. You can walk around these towns um, and buy businesses. Um, which will give you weekly income. Um, that's something that you, I would strongly do. You can buy one business in every town, um, but 
Just thought I'd throw that information in just in case I don't continue this playthrough. But if you do want to see more, if you do want to see an episode two, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, like the video and support it because if it does well, I happily continue this playthrough. Um, absolutely love this game. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have any questions whatsoever, you can either comment down below or, of course, join my Discord. I have an active and growing Discord. We've got about 100 members. Um, we talk about all kinds of games and, and jazz. So if you want to join up, want to talk about Warband or something else, the link will be down in the description. And until next time, I'll catch you later.